folks. You're about to see some real smart gameplay here from two. And you'll have time to, ana to analyze it, even. Because we're going to be here a while. Oh, anyway, man, you're so absolutely right. starting off on Town and City, uh, Dill. Okay, I was going to say, like, managed to get like, a little bit of stage control, but kind of just. Right now, they're just, you know, keeping each other's zones. The Galaxian uh, helping out Sinji in a little bit of a 2v1. Sinji was like, go, my child. Vanquish my enemies. Yeah. All right, we got toys flying left and right. Yeah, it really it really is just kind of a branding battle here. You know? It's like trying to finish that stock right then and there, uh, but got a, a little bit too overzealous. Uh, still very even percentage. Oh, my no, God. You're absolutely right. Now, all of a sudden, when we see... Uh, yeah, this <laughs> fire hydrant to the face, and uh, you know what? There's a fire burning, and it is under the burners of Rob. You are not putting that out yeah. anytime soon, Pac-Man. I apologize. However, Ooh. this Pac-Man sitting at 115% precarious position to be sure. However, going to be a while before they take the stock. I think that uh, both of these players kind of realize that. They're in this for the long haul. Yeah. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon, especially with two characters of, these na of this nature. Oh, my God. You know, as much as we were saying that things were going to be uh, slow, like these these percents really came up really quickly. Oh. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. I mean, they know how to pile on the damage. Yeah, no, they... they're, they're taking their turns, like really showing what to do. Oh my <laughs> god. Dill oh. actually managing to use the bell to ring Sinji's ears. Oh, that's cute. I like that chase. You are watching a staring contest here between these two. <laughs> it's really just who is going to blink first, who's going to make the first mistake, and we saw the answer as to who would make the first. The real key here is going to be not making the last one. And now Dill. Patient as ever. No, you, I'm not like oh, you yeah, use absolutely. the key on me by a damn sight. Absolutely not. Yeah, so the thing about like this pick of the stage is like Town City is pretty darn huge. It's not as fully wide as like Pokemon Stadium, but it has a, a really high ceiling. I think it's the highest. No, no. Yeah, it's one of the highest ceilings in the game of the legal stages. And like th the thing is, our, uh, it's like when you have a stock deficit versus either of these players, uh, it's going to be a mountain climb to just like try and bring it back. But we see that already, uh, Sinji. Uh, bringing back, evening up these, per, these stocks. I could be wrong, but I think that Town and City is actually the highest. It might be? Well, I mean, yeah. there's no way it's higher than Battlefield. Anyway, that's a conversation for another time. Let I, us I know in the chat. <laughs> I don't know. I think it is Town and City. But nonetheless, um, as we're going to get a little bit of Fire Hydrant play, you know, there's a Fire Hydrant. You have to pit it, of course. Oh, but you get caught with the bell. And all of a sudden, Dill garnering a little bit of momentum here. Going to be as uh, fast place as this gets. Waiting until the invincibility runs out. Bouncing the gyro. As you oh. do. Oh. oh, yeah. The platform appeared just in time. Talk about uh, talk about divine intervention. And all of a sudden, Sinji trying to get cute with the placement of the, uh, of the trampoline. Not going to do uh, much of anything for him that time. Oh, keeping his shield up, make sure not to get hit by the hydrant. But then, once he saw that he was safe from the hydrant, he didn't actually realize that Sinji was right there with the apple, almost knocking him out. But again, the high ceiling saving him. Again, the high ceiling saving him. Unbelievable. The folks. I'm yeah, all right, that's it. <laughs> yeah. It was going to happen eventually. You got to take that, and there's no reason you can't even this up. With relative quickness, you know, that keep in mind what matchup Ooh. you're playing and whom you are playing against. However, okay. there, throw them hands. Now we're seeing the the reverse where now Sinji's the one with the stock lead. Oh. Uh, Dill's doing a really good job right now. Not What oh, happened? Oh what God. is going on? Down smash and uh, yeah. So he was vulnerable Sinji. for like at least one frame because that trampoline uh, comes out frame one. Anyway, Dill evening up the stocks and now we have a dead even game here. And sure yeah, seems like it. Two and minutes on the clock. Yeah. No, this is, uh, this is what we... This is what we were expecting. Chat, press one that if ever they're at low percent, 
Uh, I just play a 30 second ad. Just let me know. Uh, <laughs> I can read it. I'm good at that. You know that. Anyway. <laughs> I'm good right. at reading things. Either way. Uh, so now, uh, Sinji actually pulling away uh, with a bit of a lead here, uh, dealing 100 damage. Still hasn't been able to touch him for a little bit. Ooh, running Ooh. face first into that hydrant. Throwing the bell. Ooh. Gonna oh, oh, that was beautifully set up. Dill caught sleeping a little bit, yeah. but that situational awareness could very well be the difference in this game number one. Gonna F tilt ah. the fire hydrant. However, I got a big friggin' laser. What do you think I'm gonna do with it? Yeah. Gonna right, throw Dil. away the key and Dill. Dill got uh, yeah. real spooked because he knew he had the key. Yeah. Anyway. No, you're absolutely right. Runs right off the stage and uh, taking the last stock with him. All right, so uh, Sinji going to be getting rid of Battlefield and Smashville. Uh, let's see where we go. You know, if they could just hit which one they're confirming, that would be really cool. However, it's going to be... Uh, we'll, we'll see what they select. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's nothing wrong with that. Keen eyes. It's amazing how even the time between their matches is a little longer. <laughs> I... <laughs> Is that wrong to say? I don't Not completely. I feel like I feel like I'm justified in saying that. Like yeah. it's just it's, it's kind of what it is. They're very deliberate in their approaches to the game and life itself. So we're going back to town and city. I I mean I can see it. It was a pretty even. Uh, well, wrong score. It was a pretty even uh, game throughout the entirety of it. So uh, as long as he's able to like tweak a few things, tying up a few loose ends. You know, he could turn this into his favor. But right now, it seems that Sinji is the one uh, making things even go smoother for himself. Dealing 60 damage, uh, slightly uncontested here. No, you're right. It's just like, I mean, I don't even know if you're talking about anything being, nothing is going to come easy oh. for either of these players because of the nature of their opponents and really the way that they play. They know that this is going to be a grind, but I mean, I wasn't really expecting the freaking Batan Death March, but nonetheless, we're gonna... Oh, wait uh, a second. If you see that, just get up attack. Cause like, I mean, maybe he was questioning how much range he would be, but like he was pretty close to the ledge. I feel like it's one of those hindsight 2020 things. Uh, Dill actually falling out of Pac-Man's dare that would have absolutely killed him off the side. Town and City may have a high ceiling, but it has very thin sides. Oh, absolutely, and that's how they got. Uh, that's how they secured most of their kills. Yeah. I mean, when they got some of those confirms that would have sent them upwards, you saw the DI come out, and that's why you saw Dill living to stuff like 180%, yeah. Pac-Man to 180%. All right, now it was this just is that looking... easy for him, and now Sinji all of a sudden with a decisive advantage. Yeah. Beautiful item play at the ledge, and Dill maybe just caught in the wrong place at the wrong time, losing the first stock. So well shielded, but all of a sudden, oh, using the water to his advantage. I like it going forward with the grab. Yeah, the water pushed him a little bit too close to the edge where uh, he couldn't hold him. And it broke the grab for him. Now, Sinji uh, lapping him in percentage here. Uh, Dell has to work really hard if he wants to bring back this, uh, you know, into his court. Well, I mean, D Sinji has always been good at piling up those early percentage points worth of damage. And as... That's the thing. I mean, we we give Sinji a lot of praise so much for his so patience. We kind of... Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it is a little redonkulous. I will give you that in the back here. My goodness. Those those goofy red shoes of Pac-Man, they pack some punch, man. Oh, you ran right into the laser, though. I don't think it would be too much of a problem. Oh. However, unable to tech the gyro throw. I don't think he was ready for that. Or was it red? I don't think it was red. I really don't think it was. I clipped it, it actually. I'll, I'll let you know in a second. But okay, uh, cool. the, what happened? No, nah, it wasn't red. Yeah. So what happened with there is that when you hit the gyro and it was like launched, it, it has one hitbox. But then once it bounces off it, it has like its regular hitbox. So that up B only tanked the first hit. So he wasn't ready for that at all. And, uh, you know, Dill has to like really just climb this mountain of a of a game here because he's still down a whole stock in and percentage. 
Yeah, I mean, it's funny because you're talking about these uh, these two competitors. This is a Ooh. relatively quick game. This could be something. Okay, or not. Yeah. So this is a relatively quick game for them, all things considered. Oh, yeah, yeah the bell that, into the F smash. Yeah. yeah, that'll do it. And those sides really are short, even from the other side of the stage. Sinji uh, making quick work of Dill in that one, interestingly enough. Okay, Sinji once again getting rid of Battlefield and Smashville. Uh, Dill looking to pick Pokemon Stadium, hovering over it. Certainly thinking, well, I mean... The music counter pick is the real meta. So, yes. you know, welcome to the year 2020. It's like, take this song and inject it into my veins. Absolutely. Yo, <laughs> if I ever get an F-Zero stage, I know exactly what song I'm yeah. picking. Like, you know, the Omega or Battlefield version of Port Arrow Town or something. Mm -hmm. Like, Oh, absolutely. You know, seriously, Dream Chaser is one of the best songs ever. All right, so game three. Uh, Town and City didn't work the first two times for Dill. Uh, Gonna try again on Pokemon Stadium. Game two was really rough. Uh, fantastic job by Sinji. Just like being like, nah, I'm not budging. There, there was no reason for him to budge. Yeah. He already had the one nil lead. It's not like I mean you're going to time him out at the set or anything. So really, the onus is on Dill to approach and to utilize all of his tools to try to find a way to deal with Sinji's game. It's like, you know what? Sinji really just looked at Dill, came into his house and said, look at me, I'm the captain now. And that's kind of how he's been playing ever since then. This is Sinji playing empowered, putting the EMP in empowered, what can I say? Okay. They can't all be home runs, okay? Sorry, either right, way. So, pretty even percent cheer. Uh, still Sinji with the slight lead. Uh, Dill make oh god get hits by gets hit by the up B which knocks the hydrant which then in turn knocks him into the said hydrant. The tilt. There's a lot of item play going on here, folks. Ooh ooh ooh. Oh wow. Okay, I like the attempt. I think he wanted to bounce the gyro downward, uh, but the edge of the stage, or maybe he could have done it quicker or something like that. I mean, I think it was just trying to look to bounce uh, Pac-Man himself downwards. Cause, that, I mean, that's if you, very possible. If you uh, if you deploy that that gyro uh, quickly enough, doesn't get a chance to deploy trampoline and counter. Then all of a sudden you have to deal with uh, maybe one bounce where he doesn't make it back, and then another. So Ooh. you have time to set up your offense to readjust your feet, readjust your positioning, and you can wow. maybe edge guard a little bit more effectively. Easier said than done, I know. However, Sinji. Not making it easy for Dill to finish off the stock. Yeah, 170 and 190 damage. Yeah, oh my gosh, made it back with just the side right, that time. That's the and stop. Yeah, eventually makes it back, but yeah. man, he made Dill work for it. Oh, that might be it. Yeah, and it yeah. is. Uh, Sinji evening it up, not giving Dill a moment to feel comfortable and like start building any sort of lead. He's like, nah, I'm back in this. Uh, you're going to have to take me kicking and screaming if you try. So now all of a sudden we got... Wow. That was, yeah. that was a lot in that sequence. It's There's so much subtlety to these two games, and it really is all... It's honestly the closest that you're going to get in Smash to watching baseball, where so much of the action takes place when the two aren't interacting with each other. It's all strategizing. It's all... Pulling back for the next, uh, oh my God. The next attack. Oh my gosh! The little tag by the gyro all of a sudden setting up for that one opportunity and Dill looking to take advantage of it. However, Sinji, he finds a way to turn it around. I don't Why know how sometimes. The I, kindergarten toys are flying and everyone is getting hurt. If you played with these in kindergarten, then you are the most terrifying adult <laughs> I've ever met in my life. Anyway. Wah. Ooh, okay. Dill tried to recover high to dodge it, but then uh, left himself open upon landing there. Yeah. Sinji capitalizing fantastically, thinking very fast, and uh, apparently, getting that stock. So I just want to point out, apparently Devin had a homing spaceship and a bell that paralyzed you. Anyway, so, <laughs> one stock apiece. Dill sitting at a slight disadvantage, but nothing that can't be made up in the blink of an eye, like uh, right about now. And 
looking for the nair, but are you if you're expecting Sinji to approach, then I'm not really sure what to tell you at this point. Okay, we're back at last stock, super even percentages here. It's really just gonna be like who can take that big lead and just enter that uh, that that window where you're able to actually start being able to land a kill. Wow. They just keep stuffing each other. That was very scary, the trampoline. Okay, it's gone. It was red. He did knock right around it. I think that's what Sinji was looking for, honestly. Yeah, these two are exhibiting the exact same energy. It's a oh. little ridiculous. Okay, let's see what he can do in this. <gasps> Reads it and gets the up smash. Eventually. It, it had to come eventually. He knew it. Sinji tried to mix it up, and now all of a sudden you might be seeing Sinji bottlenecked in his options, in his get-up options, and neutral in his options on ledge. This is how you plant the seed of doubt in a respected and revered player like Sinji, considered by some to be the best Pac-Man in the world, and certainly was at one time. Uh, now we see Sinji opting to go back to Town City. Yeah, Pretty understandable. Won there two games in a row. The second game was just an absolute, just like, he just steamrolled him. So, uh, pretty understandable. Uh, definitely saw that there was nothing... Uh, the Dill had a lot more trouble like being able to figure him out there, so you know, go for it and let's see. There is the fact though that you know Dill did leave it open. Uh, he got rid of FD and Kalos, so like of the quote unquote derp derp all the FD stages, you know, he was like, yeah. this is the this isn't me picking my poison, I guess. I mean, you have a few platforms of interactivity for. You know, a little while. Fine. That's the concession I'll have to make. Whatever. Either way, I know exactly what you're going to do. I can plan out your approaches. And maybe you have your options, but there's nothing that I can't deal with with just the first two of the burners that are under my feet, or I guess in under my base. What can I say? I'm a human who's having feet. Galaxia in hand. Well, yeah, wait for Dill to drop the shield and dash forward. Tags him right then and there. Dill already up to 100%. Sinji playing a pretty decent game thus far. Dill not playing uh, all that badly either. He's just taking the more. He's just taking more chances and has had to suffer more damage for it. Uh, wow. Oh my goodness! But maybe just lingering on the edge of that platform yeah. a little too long. He'll suffer the bell and the up smash for it. Dill thought he was safe, able to run off the platform, but now nah, the bell literally goes exactly to that height. Gotta remember those angles, man. And now we're at, now uh, this is a very good position for Sinji. You have the stock lead, not necessarily in a window to die just yet. Gonna need a little bit more percentage because of the high ceiling. And this is where, you know, the game could be decided. It, it's really going to come down to how is Dill going to try and breach these defenses before he gets any damage built up on himself. I mean, it's like, the thing is, you might be talking about building, building up momentum, but it's like... Oh god, and he did it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> this is, uh, this could be Dill's, uh, could be Dill's comeback. It'll certainly have to be if he wants this set to continue, but... Oh, he grabbed the wrong way. I think Sinji would have jumped out of that anyway. I'm not sure, though. And now Galaxia grabs it. You get a little bit more mileage out of it. Why not? Laser, grab yourself some digital fruit. Why not? And is unable to use it. And the thing is, is that Sinji's been... It really does all come down to item play with these two characters. That much is obvious. However, I just feel like uh, in terms of countering it and using... a uh, you know, turning the tables as it were, I just feel like Shinji's doing a better job countering uh, and utilizing Gyro against Dill than the inverse. And that could very well be the difference. Could very well be why the score is 2-1 to one right now. Yeah, something we saw in just like a few exchanges ago was just like, when Shinji has the Gyro, he's still like throwing out his fruit first. And then when Dill's like, ha ha ha, I've gone past, he's just like, idiot, throws Dreidel at him. Yeah. Oh, Dreidel? Oh, okay, yeah. No, hey, you know what? Rob is a good Mitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my, oh, my gosh. God, it's not often you see someone actually, like, get out of a... Or, like, in a position to potentially punish Pac-Man uh, dash attack. But even still, he didn't. Pac-Man dash attack, real good move. Oh. He's got the key in hand. You saw that. Yep, he's glowing. 
Uh oh, no. Sinji's got bad intentions in mind. He's waiting it out. Trying to catch some cheekiness with the uh, wow. with the hydrant, not going to find his. Wow! Mark. And just like that, a back air and Dill. Yeah, you know, Sinji took all that time to set it up, and it's not like Sinji to get tilted. It really isn't. But he took all that time to set it up. He has Dill at the exact right percentage. Can get this kill off at the side real easily. Went through all that effort, and it seems like. It was for a uh, really minimal payoff, at least on his end. Makes you wonder, is this how the tide turns in terms of mentality between these two? Oh, eventually that's going to work. You live by the dank, you live by the jank, you die by the jank. All right, evening up these percents just again. Uh, still in a position where like, you know, he has to try and try his best to bring this to a game five scenario. Uh, Sinji not, not going out without a fight. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Trying to catch the getup with the gyro, however, well rolled. Yeah, Sinji finally making it on stage. Ooh. Okay, there's a lot. Oh, man. That bell stays active for a deceptively long yeah. time. You are not playing normal Smash when you are playing Pac-Man. Isn't it something... that is not evident Isn't right it now. something where, like, the fruit bounces, like, three times before disappearing, and, like, the bell has, like, a low gravity or something like that? Uh, I would love for anyone to, like clarify uh, for me in the chat. I mean, just it's go so, out. It's something like that. Go outside and ask Sinji. Like, he's the yeah, one who would know. I'll just go tap him on the shoulder right now. We've seen it. Thank you. Uh, let me know how that goes. Anyway, yeah. as we... Uh, but no, we've, we seen go? Him, <laughs> we've seen him do some ridiculous stuff with the fire hydrant, especially. And he's been using quite a lot of those. About an FDNY's uh, department worth. Oh! Throws one down again. Okay. All right. I mean, this is the best hope that he seems to have is like, if you're going to have to deal with Rob's items, then you might as well disrupt the movement, might as well disrupt his positioning with just a well-timed uh, burst of water. I do get that. Oh, but Dill trying to take advantage of it now himself. He's adapting a little bit. Wow, that was... Back air stayed out for so long, excuse me. That was a wildly close to the ground back air. <laughs> I, I, he must have hit something that really extended it. That nothing's gonna kill there, but oh, he still has the bell. Get away! Uh oh, but the don't bell bother picking it up. Yeah, please. <laughs> no, Sinji never messes with that. Did you notice that? Like, whenever he tries, he gets hit. Oh, that might oh, be that it. There is not not yet. quite it yet. I think he wound up fairing the uh, the gyro away. Wow! Saw him uh, kiss the ceiling blast zone. And nope, no. It doesn't have a gyro in hand anymore. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's oh, this just is so spooky. No, I mean mashing there as you should. Quite oh, honestly. Oh my god. Uh oh, he got the bell back. However, I oh my oh jeez. Oh my god! <laughs> he really? Still won that? He just pulled him by the string. You saw that? I pulled the marionette up there. Good lord. I thought that uh, Dill lost that. I thought Sinji hit him with up air. Oh my god. Dill, he wanted <laughs> that match done. He is having none of it. He wants to go home. He wants this over with. As that. we take a look at the replay, this is such a good play. It it, it was always Just going to take... barely dodged that. <laughs> It was always going to take something unconventional and out of the box. And as soon as he got Sinji into attack mode, you know what? You want to be the bull? That's fine. I can just as well play the Matador. And Dill takes it to game five. And Sinji finds himself asking questions. Just how do I deal with this Rob as we go back to town and city? And, uh, as we can see at the end of that replay, uh, Sinji did go for the up air. If Dill had done Nair just a little bit slower, uh, with the full revolution that uh, Rob's Nair has to do, he would have gone stuffed by that up air, and that would have been the set. But here we are, game five, running it back to Town City once again. Was that one game on Pokemon Stadium? Uh, the shift in this direction? It Let's makes find you out. wonder. It really does, because we've seen Town City a few times. However, I mean, it's it really was. I mean, I said the seed of doubt was planted, Devin. Yeah. I didn't realize how quickly it would blossom. I do, uh, I guess I do apologize for that. It, it, it's it's the New York it. water. It just hits different. 
Absolutely. Hey, man, there's a reason you just got the best bagels in the world. That's so. a fact. Yeah. All right. Oh, but I this time, oh. Sinji oh. is not playing around, only taking 11 damage, still sitting at a huge 130. Oh, that's going to be a stock. Yep. And now sure this will. is going to be nothing but an upward battle unless they'll get something ridiculous to even out the stock. Dill. Uh, uh. He's got to find his way back into this thing. And he was doing so well by mixing up his item play, neutralizing everything that Sinji had to throw at him. I oh. mean, Dill is no stranger to having to play long games. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's used to it. The, game, the play style of Rob can sometimes necessitate it at times. But you're uh, you're dealing with Sinji, who thrives upon it so well. And uh, uh -oh. Sinji is not getting the usual uh, luxuries that he has. I would say uh -oh. because of that uh -oh. advantage that Dill... Things are falling apart. Well, the Rob might be. Yeah. Uh oh, I think this that might have clinched it. Yeah, it seems like it. Sinji, I mean, he looks like a new man in this game five, but yeah, he's moving around. He's he's schmoving actually. He never deviated from his game plan, and that honestly is the most impressive thing I think from Sinji is that he always had faith in what he was able to do. And even though we're talking about this set in the past tense, Dill, he's got to he's got to show something to prove us wrong here, right? He's certainly capable of it. I'm I'm losing faith, but I'll I'll try my best to be hopeful. <laughs> Fair enough. I understand that you are a biased party in this, and I'm not going to judge you for that. Uh. Oh. Yeah, that definitely is my brother. <laughs> hey, man, I get you. I mean, Ooh. Sinji is kind of my homie too, but like, I obviously. Uh, yeah. Oh my god! Oh. What is happening? I have no clue, but the paralysis oh. sets in! Oh, this is so spooky. Dude. Yeah, uh -oh. Dill yeah, just Dill. surrendering. The white flag goes up, and Sinji, this is what you get when you cross the Empire. No quarter. Sinji will move on to face John Numbers. Yeah. Interestingly enough, we it seemed like so long ago that we were talking about that. But yeah. Yeah. Remember that. This is um. 